Hello, my name is Rana Abud. In this past year, I've been researching architecture in an age of augmented reality for NAWIC's International Women's Day Scholarship 2013. My research has focused on the opportunities and obstacles for mobile augmented reality in the design, construction, and post-completion phases of architectural practice. Over 1 billion people will use mobile augmented reality by 2020. Augmented reality is the eighth mass medium of our time and has huge potential in architecture. The research methodology for this paper encompassed a literature review of mobile augmented reality applications in AEC industries, categorizing the opportunities for AR within established architectural phases, conversing with thought leaders around the world to identify MAR use cases and obstacles, and synthesizing the research into a paper now available on the NAWIC website. The AR trail took me around the world on an international study tour to speak to AEC industry leaders, augmented reality developers and consultants, software researchers, academics and pioneers of applied AR and construction applications within Australia and overseas. What is augmented reality? It's a system that enhances or augments the surroundings of a user with virtual information that is registered in 3D space and seems to coexist with the real world. Think of it as a sliding scale. The real world is on one side, virtual content is on another, and in between are a bunch of different mixed realities. Augmented reality sits somewhere in between and closer to the real world. AR can blend real world objects with digital content interactively in real time to make them appear to exist in your physical space. MAR is mobile augmented reality a subset of augmented reality that is applied in truly mobile settings using devices that are portable from tablets to mobile phones and head-mounted displays or HMDs. But not these head-mounted displays. The Oculus Rift is VR. It presents an immersive environment simulated wholly by the computer, while the Google Glass forces the user to specifically look up at a display to see the virtual content, not true AR. There are multiple opportunities for mobile augmented reality in the design phase of architectural practice. The most common use of mobile augmented reality in design is for design visualization at full scale and on site. A number of AR developers and visualization providers now offer platforms that enable clients to tour a virtual building and convey the intended appearance, scale, and features of a proposed design to project team members. Using MAR applications for component scaling can more directly convey an object scale in its intended location. While design professionals are able to interpret the scale of objects through drawing and practice, non-industry professionals frequently struggle with scale. MAR applications can isolate elements within a spatial scheme and allow a physical marker to stand in for a virtual object, bypassing the use of a tape measure and more intuitively conveying an object scale. AR can also augment physical models and drawings with virtually unlimited content. The most common augmentation is when a paper drawing becomes the marker for a 3D model overlay. But the value out of MAR is in communicating information that other media alone cannot, such as 4D content information with a time component. MAR applications will inform the design process itself by bringing a designer into more direct contact with the building site. Future applications will not only enable designers to interact with their developing design throughout the process, but to also carry out design analyses while on site. Augmented reality can play a role in communicating architectural narrative. In cultural heritage applications, MAR can be used to reconstruct ancient splendor onto crumbling historic sites. A key benefit of AR is that it is non-invasive allowing users to engage with historic artifacts without touching or corrupting them. It is immediate, interactive and playful. 
While there is limited opportunity for AR narrative and architectural practice today, opportunities abound in educational use and cultural events such as the Venice Biennale. There are many opportunities for mobile augmented reality applications in construction. Combining augmented reality with building information modeling can allow BIM data to be geolocated on the construction site. BIM data overlaid onto the construction site has three main uses. To visualize what is not yet built, the future, to view what is hidden, such as buried elements or elements obstructed from view, and to see what cannot be seen, such as alignment information, drawing details, site boundaries, or environmental effects. MAR applications can provide three-dimensionally registered instructions onto physical components to aid assembly and task support. MAR apps that augment a worker's view can call up assembly instructions, specifications and relevant standards to support construction processes. MAR applications allow users to perform daily field reporting by accessing and creating information directly on site. AR apps that use tracking and recognition systems can also call up information relevant to a user's specific location on a project site and allow users to manage site information in conjunction with a digital database. AR has uses in the 4D phasing of construction work sites and in wayfinding and site navigation applications. MAR will likely impact the testing, assessment, inspection and review of a building's performance during post-completion. AR visual and auditory overlays may assist users to carry out complex repair and maintenance tasks. By directly overlaying real-time computer graphics onto actual equipment, Persons with little or no prior training may be guided through maintenance or repair tasks on complex machinery and equipment. AR used in facilities management applications may identify assets or call up relevant information about a component in situ by way of computer vision and object recognition systems. Combining a building's facilities management system with BIM allows building users to monitor and plan for ongoing maintenance requirements. But there are obstacles ahead for mobile augmented reality, including technological challenges such as issues with tracking, MAR displays and the lack of industry standards, human factors such as resistance to change, privacy issues, safety considerations on a work site, and financial constraints. As key technology enablers emerge to address technological challenges, these issues will be resolved in time. A greater challenge for the risk-averse construction industry will be to overcome the human factors and financial constraints impeding MAR's uptake once technological challenges have been addressed. ICT research and consulting company Gartner in July 2013 placed AR on a downward trajectory towards the trough of disillusionment after having reached the peak of inflated expectations in 2011. Professional users trialing augmented reality for the first time in 2014 will be frustrated by its technological challenges. But those that persist and work through the hurdles will likely reap benefits in five to 10 years time when this technology reaches the predicted plateau of productivity. The road ahead is long and the technology is reliant on many players for its development. But in time, mobile augmented reality applications 
will trickle into architectural practice and soften the boundaries between the virtual and the real.